Our world is changing. The way we live our lives, the way we shop and the ways that we can earn an income. We cannot stop change. Both businesses and individuals are going to have to embrace change if they're going to survive. Well, my name is John Potter. Welcome to this presentation. For the past two years, I've been a professor in a business school. I've been studying entrepreneurship and the way enterprising individuals can get into business for themselves. As part of my work, I've become associated with two government groups in Westminster. Firstly, in the House of Lords, looking at entrepreneurship. Secondly, based in the House of Commons, looking at how micro-businesses can be encouraged. And by a micro-business, we mean a small business that an individual can set up. I've studied business, business trends and the workplace. And I'm now going to share my conclusions with both individuals and businesses as to how and why you can adapt and profit from these changes taking place in the world today. Well, let's look at the way individuals tend to live and create income for themselves and for their families. And many people who've been through our education system, school, college and maybe university, have expectations that they will get a good job, establish themselves in a good career with a job security. And in this modern world, this is something of a myth. There are no jobs for life. What has happened is that we've been trained and developed to be employees helping others to achieve their goals by working for a paycheck. And what happens is that many people end up retiring after 40 years of work almost broke. In fact, it's been estimated that less than 5% of people are financially comfortable when they retire. Well, the challenge for the future is that many of the jobs that people hope to get just will not exist. Most people now change jobs or careers 10 times or more during their lifetime. And that's, of course, if they can get a job in the first place. And it's a sad fact that many graduates leaving university go straight on the dole along with the rest of the lost generation. Entrepreneurship and setting up a micro-business is one of the best options for anyone looking to gain control of their life and income. Many people are deterred from going into business for themselves for a number of reasons. Firstly, they think it's too risky. Secondly, they think it takes a lot of money or an investment. Thirdly, they're just not sure what business they want to be in. But above all, and this is the most serious thing, they often lack the self-belief that they can do it. The other side of the coin from individuals is businesses, both small and large. Many small business people are struggling to keep afloat with all the paperwork and red tape that they have to cope with. Many work increasingly long hours for very little, if any, return. And they just keep getting deeper into debt with bank overdrafts. The challenges of funding premises, stock, staff, utility bills and dealing with regulations have made conventional small business a nightmare for many. Well, large businesses are not faring much better, with more high street shop chains going bust than ever before as people change their shopping habits. The economy in general is causing so many large companies to shed thousands of jobs in an attempt to stay trading and they have to borrow more money just to keep going. Now, this is not a rosy outlook for job security if you work for a large organisation. As you become just a number and a disposable resource. So what options are there for individuals and those small business entrepreneurs who want to create a stable, long-term income and have a greater degree of control over their own financial destiny. 
I've studied over the past few years over 200 business opportunities and had to dismiss around 190 of them. Not that they were necessarily bad businesses, but for the average individual they require significant large investments and sometimes specialist skills that most people simply do not have. I looked at what remained and then applied what I believe are the essential ingredients in a business to make it viable. Firstly, it should be financially stable. Secondly, preferably global. And thirdly, have a high consumable product or service. Fourthly, and most important, it should be something ethical that you can be proud of and something that benefits society. Having taken into account all of these factors, the industry that stands out as just getting started, and that is becoming a huge global industry, is the wellness industry, as we strive to live longer, feel better, and look fantastic. It's a sad fact that we often spend more money on average on the last 10 days of a person's life than we spend in keeping them in good health throughout the earlier part of their life. Well, this wellness industry encompasses both the baby boomers, the over 55s, who now form about 50% of the population, and the younger generations who have spawned the huge boom in gyms, fitness and healthy living. Now I'm often asked a question, which company is making the greatest contribution to the wellness industry? And I've come to the conclusion that company is Forever Living Products. This is a company that's cash rich and debt free. And that's something that's almost unheard of in the business world today. It trades in over 150 countries worldwide and is highly respected for its support and training, being awarded Investors in People Gold in the UK and having been elevated to the position of champion status. And only a handful of companies have achieved this. Forever Living has helped thousands of people around the world break free from the jobs they dislike and it's encouraged people to work towards unlocking their full potential as people, giving them the opportunity to lead a more fulfilling lifestyle. I have been so impressed by this company that I now strongly recommend and urge you to look very closely at how you could start working under the umbrella of this company part-time without affecting your day job and work towards doubling your household income. Well, there is a small investment, as with any micro-business, but it's less than you would pay to put up a sign outside a shop or an office. So why not take that first step today to find out more? You won't regret it. Thanks for listening. My name is John Potter.